Today I am going to show you a package that I received in the mail yesterday. This package, um, I was you've seen it before probably, or most of you probably have. Um, I know that um, Tio Yai Chi on his channel has shown this, Mind of Water Watercolor have shown it, and several others. But anyway, um, I was going to do a review on this product last year before I closed my channel and it was going to be from the standpoint of somebody who has a disability and um, anyway I had to close my channel suddenly everything kind of fell off the the wagon and now that I'm back I am now going to do this review for you from the standpoint of somebody who may not be as mobile even if you're not disabled maybe you are a senior citizen and you're just not as young and spry as you used to be or whatever the case may be so I'm gonna go ahead and review the product today uh, a lot of people have been showing a newer product that's been out there uh, over the last several months and I did not get that product for a certain reason and I will tell you in a minute anyway the product that I'm gonna be reviewing today is the Etcher Lab Art Satchel, and this is what it looks like. I've got it totally loaded right now. I thought about leaving everything out of it and then loading it later, um, but it just makes the video way too long. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this. Now, first thing right off the bat with this Art Satchel is that it is on the heavier side. Let me kind of move this so I can get us both in the frame maybe. Um, it's on the heavier side, and it weighs about eight pounds total. The bag itself with the straps is about 5.3 pounds, I've heard. And then when I looked up the field case that I also got, because I got the combo, um, the field case is about two pounds with the strap. So I had guessed about eight pounds and it came out to be 7.3 pounds um, exactly, or give or take. So. Um, anyway, for somebody who has problems lifting, uh, maybe has arthritis and can't lift very well, like I have arthritis in my wrists from breaking my wrists a couple times, I never do anything once. I got to see if I can top it, you know. <laughs> and then my thumb is messed up here, and uh, so I, ha I don't have the strength, the dexterity, or and it's painful to do certain things with it. And I found that to be a problem yesterday when I filmed this once and I decided to throw the whole thing away because I didn't know the bag well enough at that point. I was still fiddling with it. Also, I um, uh, just wasn't feeling well. It was a really bad day. So anyway, uh, today's a new day. So let me go ahead and get started and show you what all you can do with this bag. I'm going to start with the outside. First of all, on the front flap, you have a, a zipper pocket. This entire bag is waterproof or weatherproof, they call it. I don't think you could drop it in a swimming pool or drop it in a river if you're kayaking or whatever and get away with things not getting wet. They probably will get wet because they can seep in through different cracks. But um, the zippers on this actually are like totally sealed as well. Let me see if I can get up here to show you. See the zipper there? That black line is a zipper. You can almost not even see any teeth because they're hidden and I can't lift anything up to show you. It's just all completely sealed and it's very silky smooth, you know? It's just, it, it's different. So anyway, on this outside packet, I thought it would be a good spot to hold maybe your wallet, your keys, um, whatever uh, the case may be when you're out and about. I always have headphones with me in case I want to listen to music. Um, I have some wired headphones and then I also carry wireless headphones, um, but sometimes they run out of juice and I can't charge them, so I always have a backup plan there. So I keep those in there and I also had some extra straps in there, but I pull them out. Um, then on the other side, on the top, you have a handle so you can carry this like a briefcase. And then on the other side, 
um, you have this pocket on the inside of this thing. There's a pocket with a zipper and this plastic plate goes in. This plate is a head plate for hooking up to a tripod. And I'm not going to show you that today, but I'm going to link a video down below that shows a full quick demonstration video of this product by At Your Lab. They did a really good job showing all the different things that you can do and that it is ambidextrous. You can use it right-handed or left-handed and there won't be a problem with it, um, which many of us left-handed artists have trouble with. So I give them kudos for that as well. But this plate is removable. You don't have to leave it in here, but it's very lightweight and easy to remove. So um, that's on the back there. Then on th this area right here is so that you can slide um, this over luggage. When you have your pull handle that comes out of your suitcase, you can slide this down over it and carry it with you if you're traveling. Um, so they pretty much thought of everything there. Then on this area, we've got straps. These straps can be used as a backpack, which I prefer because it's easier to disperse the weight that I would be carrying um, so that I don't hurt myself as easily. If I carry a lot of weight to one side, it throws my back out of whack. And with my ankylosing spondylitis, it's not really good. So you can use this this way. This, this couple of straps are used in three different ways. So I can use it like that. I can also take the straps off very easily like this and unhook them from the bottom here, or I'll just unhook one. Hook it to the top over here on this loop. Clip these two together. And then I quickly have an over the shoulder carrying strap and then a Velcro area that protects you from this clip. And then I can carry it over my shoulder or I can cross body carry it however I want to carry it. But anyway, it's, it's able to be carried that way. Um, <coughs> so that's pretty much it on the outside of the bag. Now to open it up, you'll see I have these little strips here, these little, these little um, extra things, one of them I pulled out and I shouldn't have, they actually clip to your, they clip to the handle up on top so that your straps underneath here that are holding your flap down can be adjusted um, and all of that and they're not hanging down. So um, I'm going to go ahead and open this. This just has these little slide hooks. They're very simple. Um, so I'll unhook these and then on the inside uh, this flap just hangs free. There's this other bag. This is what I was talking about being the field case, and I got the combo. This hooks on to these little ribbons that are all sewn in going down the front here um, so that you can hook straps through. I've got extra carrying straps so that you can carry things like a tripod or any number of objects. And then this carrying case, this field case, also comes with a shoulder strap, which is in my front pocket, that you can hook on and carry it like over your shoulder or crossbody. You also have these that hook onto this, and they could be hooked to a belt too, if you like to wear a belt. This, <coughs> excuse me, this material is very, very sturdy material. It's almost a plasticky feel, but it isn't something that would tear easily. It, it's really good product. But the nice thing about it is that it doesn't look like plastic. It actually looks like canvas, as you can see by the way the, the pattern is on the um, fabric itself. Then on this thing, I have this pocket on the front, which I can fit a small sketchbook into, and I'll show you in just a minute. And then inside, I had put my portable brushes. Uh, or my brushes, my portable brushes, my, my brushes that I like to travel with. So I've got several of my brushes in here. I put these in on an angle because they're just a bit too tall and I didn't want them to get bent at the top here. But the rest of these brushes fit in here very well. This has four, let me take these out for a minute. <clears throat> this has um, four little rings here. These are elastic so that you can put pens or whatever in. And then there's three underneath them. And then there's three up here 
and then you've got your mesh pocket at the bottom, which is also elastic, and you can put um, erasers or whatever in there. Um, maybe lead for a mechanical pencil, whatever you want to do. But I decided to put my brushes in here. And I have plenty more room, but I decided to put my pens in the bag. And I'll show you that in just a minute. So let me go ahead and, oops, let me put these back because I am going up north this weekend. I'm going to use this, hopefully, if I'm feeling well enough. I've been having a rough couple of days with this weather changing. Um, I'm going to try and use this this weekend. So... Um, we'll see how it goes and then I can tell you how it went and I can show you some some video um, this then zippers down on both sides like this and on the inside of this is another mesh pocket here a big mesh pocket and then there's pockets along here now these pockets I'm gonna try to get a little bit closer let me move my watercolor palette over these pockets hold um, all sorts of pens. These are about the width of a credit card. There's three pen slots over here on the side. There's a bigger pocket in be behind it with, with Velcro that goes all the way across to here. There's a zipper pouch with another mesh pocket where I've put my eraser and I also carry some masking tape or artist tape so that I can, uh, I just roll it around a card. In that way, I can get my book sealed if I want to have a nice edge on it. Then on, on the inside here is another pocket, which is where I'm going to go ahead and put a um, another book. And then there's a pocket behind that as well. This whole area is removable, completely removable. I'm not going to take it all off, but everything is totally customizable on this, this bag. Then this mesh pocket here, I've just put some wet wipes, a pencil sharpener, a water bottle, and some extra clips in case I was in some wind and, and for some reason the product failed or whatever. Since I haven't used it yet, I decided to take that with me, um, but I may not need them at all. So, um, so that's this portion of the outside. Now I'm going to go ahead and open the inside up and show you how the inside works. Again, we've got these sealed zippers here that are totally, keeps everything totally weatherproof. And then I have the bag itself. Now I did just throw this book in here, but I think I'll put it in the outside. I also decided to carry two small books with me and I just put them on these elastic bands just to just to um, store them for travel. I've got three travel brushes here, but I also have these two removable removable um, elastic bands again for storing more things. Um, and then these are also used for holding down like a sketchbook. So I'll show you that in just a second. And then you'll see I have a lot of these little things here as well. When you first get this, they're very hard to remove, but I find that um, as long as I'm not pushing down real hard on them, I can remove them okay. I would think if you did have something like rheumatoid arthritis that it might be difficult for you to um, use this bag. Um, I, found it, I find it a little difficult with my thumb, but it's not, uh, not, not doable. Over here, there's a back pocket. This is all um, stuck on. You can't remove this or remove this pocket. I have my watercolor journal in here. This is my Pentallic field book. And the reason I brought this book is because it's wire bound and that way when I'm painting, I can just use it like this rather than having a flap open. Um, <clears throat> and then over here on this side is another mesh pocket. And this also becomes your easel when you're painting. So this pocket is totally removable, but it has a zipper on the front, and I have my watercolors inside here, right here, my little aluminum palette. But this pocket, like I said, is totally removable and becomes just a mesh flap with a zipper hole. The back side of your bag becomes the other half of the pocket. 
so that is removable. Now, if I want to use this like an easel, I can either do it sitting on a table, and um, which is fine. In fact, I pulled this flap out so it laid a little bit flatter. And then there's these little side things here that I can pinch together, which will hold the back up, upright, so that I can paint on it. And it is totally adjustable. I noticed there are two elastic flaps down here, these two little hooky things, and I haven't quite figured out yet what those are for. I have to figure that out. But um, in the meantime, you have these little things, and these things actually hold your books in place, or your paper, or your panel, or whatever the case may be. Now, you might have some issue trying to put them on while they're stuck down. I found that for me, it's a lot easier if I just hook these on like this. They're elastic, and they can hook on over your bag um, to hold the paper down while you're working, and then Velcro it on. But because this is a sketchbook, you can't do it on this side. So you have these, these other elastic strap things, these things. And these actually will hold your sketchbook down. It's got a pincher thing on here so that you can tighten it. And when you put these on, I'm just going to put it on this way. Whoops, i got to flip it so it's not tangled. Put it on the side from end to end like this. Then I can take my bag, I'm going to need a couple of these, or I can take my book and I can slide my cover right over this with this. It's hard to do with it standing up. I would do it sitting down actually, but since you guys are watching, I'm trying to do it upright so that you can see it. Stick that down and then you tighten your elastic so that it holds your book in place. I have the elastic right here, and then I just tighten it up, and that'll hold the book in place. And then if you're gonna have an issue with wind, then you have these other strappy things that you can hook on, on the top and the bottom, and then just put them down like that, and it holds your paper in place. So you've got that on the back. You can use it on, like I said, on the tripod, the tripod thing is here. So the way they show it on a tripod is with the plate on the back and then you can tilt the easel up and down if you want it flat to paint. Um, you can have it your tripod flat or you can tilt it and make it upright. And then this part would just hang free. Now, if you want this to be like a tabletop, you would use these straps to keep it at this kind of a 90 degree angle. But if you want it to lay flat or hang low out of your way, you can also do that by loosening these straps or removing them totally. I wouldn't think removing them totally would be good though because if you remove them totally, then you've got a problem with wind catching this and sending it sailing. So um, You'd have to be careful with that. The other thing I found yesterday is when I try to use a tripod, if you have too much weight in the bottom portion, the tripod wants to flip over. That's not good either. But you can use it like this with your bag hanging. And now I just lost all my stuff out the front because I didn't zip it. Ah! Shoot. So it's not spill -proof. There you go. If you'd done that out in the field, you'd lose things. Actually, I did have it zipped but I had these in the back pocket here and they were too loose, so they fell out. So just be careful with that. Um, it's not foolproof. I would think if I was going to use this like that and have it hanging down, I would probably um, remove my things from here or just put them in my field case completely so that everything is sealed shut and if I need it, it's right there and handy for me. Now the reason I put my pens on the front and not my brushes is because I wanted to be able to access my brushes while I'm working and if I have this here, then I can, um, then I have access to my brushes in here. I just thought of something. I'm wondering if you hook this here. Maybe that's what those are for. No, they don't hook that way. 
Hmm, I'm not sure. But you could use this by hooking this on your things here if you wanted one of these going this way. You can strap this on and then have it open up like that and hang. And it won't go anywhere because it's attached on to your loops over here. Now if you want to want to use this like a sketching surface, either sitting, sorry, let me get my head back in the frame here, either sitting or standing or um, whatever, you can take your straps, and I always get this confused because lefties do it the opposite of righties, you know? Um, you take your straps, this is going to have to be up here, which means that goes over here. Okay, you turn this inside out, and you've got this center little clip here, and the latch is on the other side. You loosen it up, and clip it together, and then you can tighten it down as much as you need to. This becomes your work surface. And all of this under here is stable. It's not going to dangle or anything while you're trying to work. Um, then you take your loops. You've got a loop here. I'm doing it for a lefty. So upper left, lower right, I believe is how I'm supposed to do this. There's another loop over here that I'm going to clip to. Left arm through for me. And I keep it like this. And then I've got my work surface right here. And you can adjust and tighten this as much as you need to. Um, there. So now I'm totally free and this just sits. And now I can take my book and I can be sketching, painting, whatever on my book right here on my surface, which is really nice. And you can do it standing or sitting. And like I said, I'm gonna uh, link the video uh, down below for the Etcher um, company's video on how they show you all the different ways you can use it. You can use it as a desktop easel. You can use it as an easel on a tripod out in the field. You can use it as a sketching surface over your shoulder. The different ways of carrying it as a backpack or as a briefcase or over your shoulder or cross body. Um, there's just so many things that you can do with this bag. It's really versatile. The only problem that I'm finding, the only two negatives that I'm finding right now for somebody who might be disabled is that it is heavy and, you know, heavier than normal. My little gray bag that I showed you in my sketch, my sketch bag videos, I love that bag. And I've got a feeling I'd go back to that bag because it's easier for me, excuse me one minute, it's easier for me to carry that bag and a little board that's lightweight to set my book on to go ahead and paint and just set it on my lap or um, to do, to make my own surface with a folding, folding like board that I can use. Um, so... I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to try this this weekend, but there's really the other thing I found. There's no place to put my water. Um, I have not seen, they show people painting, but they don't show anybody with, well, they did show a girl with water. She had one of those accordion fold plastic water cups that she had off to the side, just balanced. And I thought, oh, that could go bad real fast. Now, I can't remember if she was using a tripod or not. I think she was using a tripod with it. I'm gonna try this out this weekend, see how cumbersome it is. I think there's quite a learning curve with this. It does take a while to get used to. Um, I've come a long way just since yesterday, but um, I've got a ways to go and my back is hurting today and I've got a feeling if I were to go out and sketch, I would. I think I would dread taking something as heavy as this because by the time I get my gear in here, I'm probably up to at least 10 pounds or more. And for somebody like me with a disability, that's a, it's a ton of weight for me. Um, so we'll see how it goes. The other thing is, is you can, like I was going to show you here, is you can put all of your stuff in here. I have my little watercolor palette here. 
I can put that inside here in one of these pockets. I could take just my travel brushes. I'm going to take these out for a minute. And I could put a couple pens in. I'll just grab something over here, a pencil, a water brush, whatever you want to do. You could put those in there. And then uh, maybe an eraser and close up your bag. And then on the outside, have a small book. This one's a, a pentallic accordion fold book that will fit in here. It's a four by six book. This is kind of rubbery, so there's a little bit of friction when you put it in. But that fits in there perfectly. And I can use the shoulder strap and carry this and be just fine. So if I'm just gonna be doing small sketches, I think I would just take this along and this would be my full, my full getup. Or you can also take, you can fit a small, this is a Stillman and Burn uh, three and a half by five book that I got a while ago at Hobby Lobby. Um, I could stick one of those in here. It fits perfectly fine and it's not going anywhere when I tip it over. Nothing's falling out. Um, because it's got this rubbery, kind of stretchy rubber band-like uh, fabric, it's really, it's really cool. It's almost like, not like scuba gear, but it's like a coarse rubbery stuff, see? But anyway, you've got everything right there and you can go. Now this, I would definitely recommend for anybody who's disabled. Um, because it is so lightweight. I've got everything in here. There's no concerns with, with being able to hold things or any of that. The only thing is, is you're not going to be able to use it like uh, an easel or anything. I don't know, maybe you could, but there's no um, straps to hold it open. It'd be kind of nice if they had done that so that you could take your book and you could open it up and strap it inside. That would be kind of nice. Although, I might be able to jerry-rig it and figure something out, put a band over it or something, um, and that would hold it open. But we'll see. Um, I don't think it's necessary. You know, I can always carry my little board with me um, if I want to, or just work on my lap. Not a big deal. But anyway, so that's the other bag. I hope everybody liked this um, unboxing bagging kind of uh, setup review and I'll use it and I will tell you exactly what I think from a disabled standpoint. If somebody who's disabled could use this, anybody could use it. So, well, I will let you know. The one thing I forgot to mention that I started out talking about in the beginning of the video was something called the Slate, uh, a different product that people have been reviewing more recently. Um, for at your lab and it is a similar product you can still do the sitting and standing with it's lighter weight but there's only one pocket in the thing well no there's this i think you get one of these inside also but um then you get one outer pocket that has the same problem where if it flips down um you can lose your stuff out of it because it's just a flat pocket it doesn't zip shut and um, people have been complaining, or not complaining, but <clears throat> reviewing, and the reviews stated that the pocket just didn't seem deep enough, large enough to hold things, that there wasn't enough storage space in it. The art satchel has enormous storage in it. The only thing that I find is that um, even with all of that storage, there's not a lot of space in between these these flaps for things to fit in. So, although the stuff that I fit in is for an entire weekend. I had one, two, three, four books, four different books in there. I had the two little, two little books, my Pentelic uh, accordion folded journal, my that small three and a half by five journal, my B watercolor journal, um, which is a, I don't know, it's probably five by seven ish, five by eight. And then I have my 9x12 Pentallic watercolor field book. So all of those were in there. And that's just so that I have choices on, depending on how I feel, what size book I want to use when, you know. Um, but anyway, that slate is available. A lot of people use it for their iPads. They, 
they fit their iPads into those slots and then they use their little um, their eye pencils uh, to do their drawing with and I think that might have been the major intention for that was more for digital use um, and then you don't need all that storage anyway because you're just gonna have your eye pencil on the inside along with your iPad and then maybe your keys and a wallet on the outside whatever you know um, but people were just not seeming to be as happy with that as they were with the art satchel so that's why I wanted to review this for a disability standpoint and having the combo gives me the option for both so that was my reasoning for that they also make a slate mini you can go onto their website i will link that in the description box below along with that uh, video for you so in the meantime everybody be courageous paint with wild abandon and most of all be kind to each other <laughs>